Hey folks, Richard here, KC4YJB on YouTube. I promised a, uh, another video on the Newman motor, and I've got a few minutes tonight. I'm a little frustrated, though. I've made two videos already, and they've overrun uh, the time frame for YouTube uh, uh, a whole lot. I was going to edit them, but I couldn't find a way to do it. But anyway, I brought my trusty timer tonight, so maybe I won't, or this time, so maybe I won't overrun. Anyway, the Newman motor. Uh, you've seen this before on my uh, site. Uh, these are giant uh, microwave oven magnets here. Uh, I've got them in a configuration north and south. It's acting like a big giant bar magnet inside this coil. The coil consists of 600 feet of six conductor wire. And I've brought each conductor out to these terminal strips so that I can mix and match. I can change my coil lengths uh, any way I want to in here. I can have uh, uh, six... 600 foot coils or uh, one giant 3600 foot uh, coil and right now it's configured for uh, the power I'm putting in on one 1200 foot coil and uh, running it through this battery here this 12 volt 7 amp hour battery that you would buy like Home Depot for your uh, uh, burglar alarm system battery backup on your burglar alarm uh, the commutator is still working well. You'll notice when I turn this on that it's quietened way down. Uh, what I did, I put a piece of heat shrink tubing over the uh, actuator on this uh, micro switch. And now when the uh, button comes around to hit it, uh, it's, it doesn't have such an impact. And it, it quietened it way down. I'm happy with that. But uh, we're going to go ahead. Uh, we haven't got much time. I'm going to turn this thing on and I'm going to spin it up. What I'm doing tonight is testing some voltages out of it. And uh, I'm going to get it spinning. Just a slight spin. I brought a brought out a uh, little rubber roller on this end. I'm going to put stuff on this uh, later. But I can just spin it real easy and get it going. It's starting to... Uh, uh, kick up now. It'll kick up to a certain speed. I have no earthly idea what RPM I'm running, but it will plane out, and I think that's just due to uh, this uh, commutator that I made. Um, it would probably go faster with a different commutator, but uh, okay. We don't want to run out of time again. What I'm here to say, uh, or going to tell you tonight, is just the basic hookup and the voltages that I'm getting out of it. Right now, uh, start up, this thing's drawing. Uh, this is ammeter now in series with this battery. I am getting, uh, or drawing off the battery about 30 milliamps. Uh, that fluctuates on start up, it might be 70 milliamps, <clears throat> and then it does plane down uh, between 30 and 40 milliamps. So that's the current drain off of this battery onto this coil, primary coil, that's driving this rotor. Uh, inside. Uh, what else? Okay, this is the uh, terminal strip. Like I said, I brought this out tonight. I've got it configured for one 1200 foot secondary coil. I've capped it, jumpered it. Uh, so the output is AC voltage on these clip loops here. Uh, what I did tonight, I ran it over to a bridge rectifier, just one I bought at Radio Shack, this cheapy bridge rectifier. I'm putting about uh, 9 volts of AC voltage in this uh, the AC input on the rectifier. Then I'm bringing out the positive and negative leads here, um, DC, because they've been rectified. Make sure nothing's touching here. And uh, the two output leads, positive and negative, are going through this rat nest of uh, clip leads. And going through one, I've got two here, but I'm only connected to one. 470 microfarad capacitor. Uh, that's a filter capacitor for the DC output that the uh, bridge rectifier is putting out. This is the rectifier that I've got on there. Um, otherwise, I'd be dealing with about 9 volts of AC uh, voltage. And now the bridge rectifier, once it goes through there, over here, it knocks it down to about 3.5 volts DC, but it's pure DC or, well, full wave DC, and it's strong. Uh, it's, a, it's a good steady voltage when uh, measuring it with a meter. Right now, I have the meter on uh, DC voltage on the output, and through the filter capacitor, uh, I'm getting, uh, well, 34 volts right now, 
but that's not really an accurate reading. All this is doing is the 3.5 volts DC coming out of the rectifier is charging this capacitor, and that's what the meter's reading. Now, I wish I was getting, uh, what, 35.1, 35.2 volts out of the uh, secondary coil of this Newman motor, but I'm not. I'm getting about 3.5, and this will continue to cl uh, climb. Uh, Memorial Day, I uh, let it run for several minutes. It got up to about 60 volts DC, and I got real excited, uh, but that's not a true reading. Uh, what it's doing is charging this capacitor, and then since the meter, the voltmeter has really no load on it over here, then uh, it's just reading what the capacitor's holding that's charging off the uh, bridge rectifier. Boy, that sounds confusing. But uh, back over here, uh, this thing's claimed out now. Uh, well, I thought it had. It's fluctuating between 30 milliamps and 40 milliamps uh, input. 12 volt, 7 amp hour uh, DC battery. Here's the leads going up. I've got the, the uh, volt or ammeter right now series in with the uh, positive terminal on the battery, and that's what's giving our reading for the input voltage. Commutator seems to be working real well, and uh, the magnets in here are spinning pretty good. I wish I knew what RPM they were spinning, but. Um, Back to the coil configuration, since I've got uh, uh, 600 feet of six conductor wire brought out on these terminal strips, I can mix and match my coil length. I think the 1200 uh, foot, foot primary uh, coil is the best for the input on the battery over here. Uh, I seem to get the best uh, 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 rotation out of the uh, rotor in there with that. And then that leaves me four 600-foot coils to play with. Right now, these LEDs are on uh, one 600-foot coil each. And like I said earlier, I've jumpered to make one 1,200-foot secondary coil to uh, get my voltage and play with this uh, here. Uh, what I wanted to tell you, uh, uh, Labor, or Memorial Day, when I was fooling around with this thing, I had a few minutes. I put this, uh, this is a 12 volt DC uh, automotive light, is what it is, and I put it on this battery pack here of four AA rechargeable batteries. They were reading 4.8 volts when I started. They're only 1.2 volt batteries, uh, uh, NICAD batteries, and I thought most were. There goes my timer already. But anyway, I'll try to hurry. What I'm trying to say is I kill these batteries using this light for a couple of hours and then I was able to just simply attach a bridge or a blocking diode, this is a 1N4 007 diode, on the output of my Newman, uh, on the output of this bridge rectifier, attach it to the, to the uh, positive and negative on this battery pack, of course I have four batteries in there. And uh, it charged those batteries back up to 4.8 volts in about 30 minutes. I was proud of that. But anyway, uh, I'm, there's so much to show and so little time. So I'm going to end my video now, and uh, there'll be more. Don't worry. See you later, and good luck.